Hey guys, welcome back to the Bit Monkey Show. My name is Alex, and I hope you're doing well wherever you are. Today, I'm making a video about WooCommerce and specifically about this wonderful, amazing plugin called the WooCommerce Cart Abandonment Recovery Plugin by Cart Flows. It is a free plugin, and if you have a WooCommerce store, this is a plugin that I believe you must have installed on your site. In fact, the functionality, being able to recover abandoned carts is a functionality that you simply cannot do without. Now, just to be clear, in case you don't fully understand what I mean, what this plugin does is that it's able to keep track of customers who come to your site, they add items to their cart, but then for some reason, they don't finish the process of actually paying for those items. So this plugin can actually notify you and say, hey, uh, we've had this customer, uh, they, they added these items to their cart, but they didn't check out. So with this plugin, you can actually send follow-up emails to those customers. You can offer them coupons, discounts, things like that. So this is an amazing plugin that every WooCommerce store should have. So if you don't have this functionality already active on your website and you want to do so, you're going to enjoy this video. So sit back, relax, and uh, let's get started. Alrighty, so let's take a look at how to use the plugin. I have already installed it. You can see it's right here, the WooCommerce Cart Abandonment Recovery. And to access the settings, I'm going to go over to WooCommerce and then down here, you would see cart abandonment. So I'm going to click inside and there's going to be the general report. And of course, I've just installed it on a website I don't really use. So you can see right now we don't have any, any reports, nothing to see in here. I will show you one of my actual websites where I do use the plugin later. So you'll see more over here. But let's take a look, first of all, at the general settings tab. So right here, you do have some interesting features, which I'm going to show you. First things first, of course, you want to make sure that enable tracking is ticked. Of course, this is the major uh, function of, of the plugin. So of course, make sure that this box is ticked. Now, you could disable tracking for specific kinds of users on your site. If you wanted to, you have the boxes right here. And then you want to notify recovery to the admin. So whenever anyone has successfully purchased a product on their cart, thanks to this plugin, you will be notified. So you want to take this box right here. Now you do have the coupon settings. The plugin has the ability to create coupons automatically for you. I will show you how in just a moment, but you want to make sure that you delete those coupons either automatically or manually. I would recommend automatically. What this means simply means is that once those coupons have expired or they've been used, uh, the plugin will automatically delete them for you. So I'll recommend that. Or again, you do have the option of doing this manually, but you will have to remember uh, when those coupons have already expired. Now you've got the email settings, all right? So who will the email be coming from? What's the name? Obviously you want to come in here and add a more descriptive uh, from name. And then you've got the from address, the reply to address as well. You can fill this out. And then right here, you do have the ability to enable a web hook. So maybe you do have active campaign or maybe MailChimp and you wanted to set like, send like a whole special set of emails to such users. You can create the automation over there and then simply add the web hook over here uh, if you wanted to. Now you could also create a coupon code which says auto create this special coupon for the abandoned car to send over the emails. Uh, yes, we want to do that. So right here, you do have the ability to now create a particular kind of coupon that the plugin will send to users who have abandoned the cart. You can go with the percentage discount or a fixed cart discount and then simply add the coupon amount and then when the coupon would actually expire. But what I'm going to do here is I will disable this and show you how you can actually create coupons in a different way. Finally, you do have the enable GDPR integration uh, if you wanted to. I'm going to go ahead now, save my changes. And now let's take a look at the follow-up email. So these are the emails that will be sent automatically by the plugin when a user has abandoned their cart. And you can see the very first one right here. It will trigger after 30 minutes and you can choose to activate this email if you wanted to or we could actually edit the email. So let's take a look at the actual email itself. So right here, this is going to be the body 
it says hi customers first name and then you know you have the text right here and then you have the link here that will link them back to the cart that they've abandoned and then right here if you wanted to this is now the different way how you can create coupons for each type of email so right here you can take this box and then you could now create a coupon specifically for this kind of uh, email however due to the fact that this will be triggered uh, 30 minutes after they've abandoned the cart, you typically might want to save the coupon discounts for maybe the second email or the third email. So I will untick this box and just send this email after 30 minutes. Of course, you can come in here and change minutes to uh, 30 minutes to maybe 25 minutes or 15 minutes or something like that. But 30 minutes is it's a it's it's I'll say it's it's a good time frame. It's it's good enough. So. 30 minutes, this particular email will be sent. So you can go ahead now and simply uh, activate this template, right? So let's go ahead now and update our changes. But then we also have all the kinds of follow-up emails. We do have a second one. So let's say even after 30 minutes and they've gotten this email, they still don't uh, purchase their products. You can then send another one one day after. So let's see what this one is all about. It says need help let's take a look it's pretty much the same as the very very first one the wording is a little bit different but the only difference is that this will send uh, after one day so again you can come in here and modify the text modify the email subject if you wanted to i'm going to go ahead and activate this template because i think it is good enough as it is and then finally after three days if the user still hasn't purchased their card there's another email that you can send so I'm going to go ahead now and edit this one and it says uh, a few days back you left this now over here you can now see this is where you can now begin to offer a discount after three days it's likely that they're no longer interested so maybe offering a discount or a coupon uh, might uh, convince them to go ahead and complete the purchase so right here you want to go ahead now and create the coupon and then simply now choose what kind of coupon you want to create, whether it's a fixed card discount, percentage discount, or for the coupon amount. So right here, I can offer maybe a 15% uh, discount, and then this will expire 24 hours. And as you can see right here, it also says 24 hours. So make sure your email content actually matches uh, the settings of your coupon as well. And then you do have some optional uh, discounts in here, like free shipping, and obviously you want to make sure the coupon is used individually and then you can also uh, auto apply the coupon uh, if you wanted to. I'm not particularly sure about this. Maybe I think that might be actually be a good idea because if they're going to follow up, they might as well. <laughs> they're, they're definitely going to use the coupon. So uh, you might as well automatically add uh, the coupon to the cart. And of course, finally, when would you like to send this email? Three days after, I think is pretty good enough in my humble opinion. So I'm going to go ahead now update the changes and then of course don't forget that you can also create new templates you have the button right here you can create a new template and then you come in here you can add the name of the template the subject the body and then uh, create the email text and then of course choose to create a coupon with this email uh, if you want it to so that's the general settings for the WooCommerce cart abandonment recovery. All right, so here's a real life example of how the plugin works on a real website. And you can see this is the plugin I'm using on my own academy, webmonkeyacademy.com. And right here behind the scenes, uh, you can see that so far, I have had eight recoverable orders of which two have been successfully recovered. And you can see the recoverable revenue is at 214 of which Almost $20 has been recovered. It's not much, but it's it's still something. And the recovery rate right here is 20%, which again, isn't great, but it's not bad either. I mean, this is still uh, revenue I'm able to generate uh, thanks to the plugin. And right here, you can see, of course, the emails, uh, the names of the people, uh, the amount they had, they had in their carts as well and uh, the time when they actually abandoned their cart. So these are the kinds of uh, reports you can get when you use the plugin on a real website. Well, there you have it. We've come to the end of today's video where I showed you how to make use of the WooCommerce Cart Abandonment Recovery plugin. I hope you enjoyed it. 
just to give you a heads up, I do have my uh, WordPress WooCommerce Masterclass on my website, bearmonkeyacademy.com. And if you're interested in learning more about WooCommerce, how to set up different kinds of things like, uh, you know, shipping, coupons, managing accounts, installing multiple payment gateways, it's basically the full uh, Masterclass on WooCommerce. If you're interested, be sure to check out my link in the description box below. You can get the course at a very affordable price of just $19.99. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed. Hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new tutorial. My name is Alex. Been a pleasure and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.